Alrighty, we are airing down again. We've just left Ballara Station. Absolutely beautiful at one of our favorite station stays, I think, that we've done so far along the road. But we're airing down again. We'd, we've gone about oh, probably like 40 k's down the road. We're heading to South Lafroy, so we're gonna be doing some beach camping. Check this out. at our campsite at south of Florida. this beach here is just next level wait till you see this we just um got down to our spot here and it's uh it's, it's quite soft so the guy up there really really said that it gets soft and it's not that bad but we're gonna air down just gonna do a little bit of a little bit of maneuvering around here so we're gonna go down to 15 psi we're trying to start to have and get our van right up right up near the beach here so we're on site 71 what i don't like about it though is 72 is right next to it. I'm gonna have a bit of a chat about this booking system <laughs> in a minute, but that's us there. So we can back in there, happy days, and that's probably what we might end up doing. Um, but then 72, if they roll in, I feel like we're gonna kind of be uh, camping with them. So what we're gonna try and do, um, if possible, without getting stuck, <laughs> I'm gonna try and maybe go out onto the beach with the van on and then pop up pop up at the top here so we might, we might better have the van uh, up there and we'll have beach views so see how it goes I don't want to get stuck <laughs> that's why we're going to go right down to 15 because this stuff is so dry and has no bottom to it plan's worked out absolutely perfect so far. This thing is a friggin' beast when you let that tyres right down to that 15, 16. This feels like a buddy go through anything. That was, that was extremely soft, that lead up. What we're gonna do is just get, hopefully let's go forwards a bit more. My only worry is uh, getting the car on this dip down here and be able to, uh, be able to unhitch it. So, let me get a little bit closer. And sort of this is gonna be our view out here. So, should line it up perfectly. All right, what we've done is we've got our extra track recovery board down the bottom there. These have actually got a little bit of a, like a little jacking block on there. So uh, these, these are separate that you can get for the uh, recovery boards. So it goes on there. So we're actually going to use this to, to unhitch the van because if you try and put that straight on sand, you're absolutely stuffed. So we've used this before. Also, we rolled a roll a tire off the beat at, uh, at Rove, the beach port there, and, uh, and used this in the sand. So again, if you've got a recovery board or you know, even as simple as a bit of timber, a block of timber or something, I'll go out and buy some... Um, some jacking blocks is absolutely ideal for out in the beach like this. Well, we're just about finished setting up camp. This has to be up there with one of the one of the nicest beach sites uh, that we've had to date, I reckon. So, cows are set up the weather. They're going to get some lunch. We're here late in the afternoon. We haven't had. That's probably nearly three o'clock. So, wind is picking up. It's sort of the windiest part of the day. The next sort of couple of hours, we knew that was going to be the case. We've got a little bit of sand coming underneath here. Sort of, we're not fully protected from the wind, but. It's not too bad. Again, it's probably scared a lot of people off, um, which has worked out extremely well. One thing about the booking system here, it's just, it's a weird system. I'm sure if you've been along here before, you know how it works. So you gotta, you gotta book per site. So that's all online. Uh, the best way is just go on Wikicams and you just click the link there. Book online, you gotta book which site you're gonna be at. And I don't think you can get refunds or they only refund you 50, uh, 50 percent. So eight bucks per adult a night. Um, again, so it's totally fine. Uh, but what we found is when we went to book this, there's only two or three sites left and we got out of here and it's pretty much, there's maybe six, seven camps out here. So, and there's a lot of spots and we're talking to the, uh, the, the, the volunteer guy up there, the camp host. And I said, oh, look, you know, can we just grab another site? And he said, look, we can't. He's like, the rangers are so onto it. Um, and you just, you can't do it. You can't just go and, you know, if there's no one here for someone's booked for a month. 
uh, you know, they, they, they won't change the sides. They don't know who's coming and going. So, and he, he was fully against the sort of system as well. So, it's a little bit of a shame. Like, it should just be, you know, let a certain amount of people in the area first in best dress maybe because it's so easy just to can't get refunds so you know you have a week booked and then the wind's going to be shit or you come do two nights and then go um you know it just leaves a site there you know there could be this brilliant site two sites up from you and no one rocks up for the whole time you're there so a little bit of a crappy system there but this location definitely makes up for it so we're covered in dust it was pretty bumpy in the way and the last little bit there was um extremely corrugated so tire pressure's right down covered in dust we're gonna go wash off in this beautiful blue water. Come for a bit of a drive this morning. Just checking out a couple more of the campsites uh, along the coast here. We've come down to Winder Bandy. This is the place that Macal wanted to. Just trying to suss out a spot here. It says it's all booked out, but again, we've got up here spots everywhere. But this is another place. Really, we've checked out the other couples before. Point Billy and a couple others. Uh, the one we're staying at is definitely the spot to be. But this would have to be a very close second. This is just the water out here is kind of like just that. Again, it's just pure magic again the campsites all along the beach this is just this is just bliss we've never seen it like this before views we've ever seen out on top of the ocean there what do you reckon oh it's beautiful it's like the most beautiful part of the ocean i've ever seen a little bit windy up here you can feel the wind a bit more but that's got to be you got to love a four drive track that was an awesome little fun track extremely rocky but you got to love one that was a nice water at the top and this is this is definitely it Had an awesome drive yesterday down the coast. We went all the way down to Yardy Creek, which is about a 50, 55k uh, drive from down where we are here. So you actually get to a bit of a creek cross in there. Awesome little spot. There's a walk that goes along the creek there. And uh, you got to go through that to keep continuing on. You actually keep driving to Exmouth, which is a bit over 100 k's away. So you can do the whole coast uh, down to there, which is awesome. So we chose not to go through. It was pretty deep at the time and it's all um, it's all salt water there. So we sort of did there, come back, stopped at a whole place along the coast there. And it's just absolutely magic the only thing it's been a bit of a ball break is just this wind so we've had a couple of the first day and a half we got here absolutely mint uh we did a day out i uh, went out um for a drive out here for a couple of hours we didn't take the cameras we want to have a day off and just enjoy this absolute amazing coast along here and that it was and we so we actually didn't get any footage out there we're planning to head back out there but this we had the last day and a half of this wind has been 40 50k winds and it's just blown everything like we're we're not ones to complain about the wind or nothing but it was pretty bad eh? atrocious like you just you couldn't even sit outside it was just getting yeah. sandblasted everything was just covered in sand nearly lost the muck mat it's just like we just, barely slept last night yeah just Get buried and rocking the van around even yeah. which is which we haven't really experienced that before and it's just blowing all the sand away from underneath the tires so the van ended up being Honestly. unlevel and just yeah. just mental so it's nice it's it's calm michigan today but um we're actually gonna we're actually gonna go a day early so we're booked in tonight uh we're into xmouth tomorrow that's when the wind comes down tomorrow so yeah. Bit of bad timing. We did know the wind was going to be out there before we come out, but... Just didn't picture it would be this bad. Yeah, we sort of didn't really have anywhere else to... We had a few days to kill before we go to Exmouth, mm -hmm. so... We're just enjoying the morning here, so we didn't get as much film as we wanted to out here, but... 
We're going to continue this one on down, uh, down at Exmouth there, on to Coral Bay. So we've got about eight days in these two places, and hopefully this wind comes down from there. But this place out here, again, it's if you can... Beautiful. It's beautiful. Yeah. It is magic. If you time the weather and this yeah. water would just be still, just magnificent. So we'll be 120% be coming back here. down the Exmouth, we just pulled up down on the, on the town beach here, we're just going in and bought a new snorkel, that's the number one kit you need around here. We had a nice cheaper we had for years and years and then we finally wanted to do some snorkeling, uh, the friggin thing snapped on us out at south of Florida there, so got this bad boy and I guess we're just down here having a bit of a look around, the caravan parks is literally uh, a, a, a kilometre down the road, we're saying the RAC there along with uh, every other full time travel at the moment, we all seem to be there, so we had a couple of cheeky drinks last night. Uh, catching up with the crew, which is awesome. So we're just gonna be chilling out. We're gonna really excited to explore the area. Just gonna sit down here, get a bit of a tan on, and uh, yeah, try and do some good snorkeling. Mm -hmm. 